Come on. There is no way to change the volume. Welcome back, folks. We're gonna try this again. Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of little things that I do not like about this game, but I figured I might as well give it another shot. We regret to inform you that your daughter Virginia... Blah, blah, blah. How can I be in the way when no one's here? As if my daughter was missing and I wouldn't come. Alright, we know where to go. I can just pick up... No, no flashlight here right now. Uh, okay. Okay. Holy... Now you have my attention. Suddenly the fun house doesn't look very fun. I see inventory. Say two. Hmm. Two. I'm lying awake in bed, my neck sore from sleeping on one pillow. I asked for another, but I need a doctor's order to have more than one. My sleep medicine has worn off, and I'm once again a prisoner to my insomnia. I decided I might as well start writing things down like they asked. I'll get bonus points towards extra dessert, and something to do Ooh. for now. I can hear the person in the next room snoring, people whispering, and the phone ringing at the nurse's station outside. I'm remembering a dream I had last night where a tall man in a hat came to my bedside and told me he would take me away soon. I'm making a mental note to mention it to the doctor later. Okay. So we've learned that the flashlight can make these things go away. Also, that background sound is really freaking annoying. Oh, God, come on. Oh, there we go. No. Okay, yeah, she's a... Oh, what do you miss now? There. There. So this is a I didn't go fuck yourself game. Or a game where the ghost is afraid of uh, flashlights. Well, I say that's not very interesting. up an axe. Guess I get, when I get close to things, uh, it's supposed to mm, haunting shadows. No. Okay. Yeah. I 
really kind of wish I could adjust the background noise in this damn game. Alright, inventory. This is, uh, seven. Who knew I was so good at breaking things? had a cat show up. Hmm. Hmm. Flickering light. So, I don't quite get what I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I supposed to find all the little things around here? Oh yeah, here we go. This. Hmm. I'm sorry folks, I'm just... Not too into this. I just don't get the appeal. Sorry, but it's true. tried games like this before, like Daylight, but quite frankly, it just did not interest me too much. Uh, Bloodstain. Fucking creepy whispering. It's not the creepy whispering that is getting to me, but it's the fact that it's so fucking loud and I can't adjust the goddamn volume. <sighs> That's one of my major complaints about this thing. The fucking volume. I mean... Come on, just let me adjust the goddamn thing so it doesn't blow out my goddamn ears. <sighs> oh great, not again. Now, folks, I've wandered around it. I'm lying awake in bed, my neck sore from sleeping on one pillow. I asked for another, but I need a doctor's order to have more than one. My sleep medicine has worn mm. off, and I'm once again a prisoner to my insomnia. I decided I might as well start writing things down like they asked. I'll get bonus points towards extra dessert, and something to do for now. 
I can hear the person in the next room snoring, people whispering, and the phone ringing at the nurse's station outside. Community group is over. I'm not sure who thought having insane people entertain each other was a good idea. Surprisingly, everybody was there today. Nobody killed themselves. That makes it a good day. Somebody cried today, but somebody always cries. Today's goal is to keep myself distracted and try not to think of new ways of killing myself. I told them I'm past it. Been there, done that, I said. But they didn't think it was funny. Well, yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, as for nobody killing themselves, I imagine that's a bad sign. Like, if that's happening on a daily basis, then that's a pretty fucking terrible place. I remember something else about my dream. The man in the hat was wearing all black. Even his hat was black, and his skin was black. His eyes. I can't describe his eyes. It was like he had no eyes. Just empty sockets that seemed to be pooling on my soul. I remember being so happy when he said he would take me away from here. But now I'm afraid of where he might take me. Now that sounds awesome. The thing we get isn't that. I don't know, maybe we're not seeing the hat man, but it does not look like that. It looks like some woman with long hair and a jack-o'-lantern face. Process group with a social worker seemed like a huge waste of time. Everything we talked about after they said we were having sloppy joes for lunch seemed to have nothing to do with me. I tried bringing up my dream, but that just led to a discussion of more medication. As everyone was getting up to leave, Tanya walked me to the bookcase, reached behind it, and pulled out a book. She told me to read about the shadow people, and specifically someone referred to as the hat man. She said I would find my answer there. Now, I've heard legends about people with, like, tall top hats, but they usually appear at, like, railroad crossings and along the railroad and so on. Shadow people is something completely different. It's like, uh, dark entities that hang around graveyards, some places where bad shit happened. I've never experienced them before, but, I don't know, they seem interesting. Uh, you know, my main problem with shadow people is, uh, well, and ghosts in general is look at all the places where all these kinds of bad shit happen. You would think there would be a ton of ghosts around there, but instead it's like a little out of the way house instead of like a haunting at Auschwitz or a haunting at um, Sandy Creek. You don't get any of that there. You get it at little out of the way places where uh, maybe uh, a few people were like tormented or had a bad life and so on nothing major think about the only exceptions I can think of is like Penhurst uh, Asylum but even then that's kind of spotty in places for recreational therapy, I read Tanya's book. It was a journal written by other patients about their encounters in the asylum with the shadow people. A couple had even seen the hat man just the way I did. I was still reading when they called lights out. Now, I don't claim to know much, but reading about a man who paralyzes people, chokes them, and steals their soul is not recommended reading for insomniacs just before bedtime. But now I know who I'm dealing with, even if it's only the meds creating him in my head. I'm not dead. At least I don't think I am. My butt still hurts from the chair I sat in while reading. I have to spend all of eternity with a sore butt. Those people should really get a padded chair. He got into my head. I saw him and tried to escape, but he got into my head. It's those eyes. It seems like some sort of limbo, somewhere between life and death. I don't see anyone else, so I... Guess I'm on my own. Hmm. 
It's strange that the only thing I have is my journal. It must be because I was holding it when I got here. If I learn anything, I will write it in my journal. It seems like it might be the key if I ever want to get back. <clears throat> okay. The voice acting for this isn't what's on the page. Yeah. At least it did sound a little bit more real than the other ones. I'm attaching a picture here from the book of the hat man. If I go missing, go look for him. What if I disappear and no one comes looking? I need to make it through the night. I've definitely crossed over to somewhere. I'm not dead. At least I don't think I am. My butt still hurts from the chair I sat in while reading. This place is like the hospital after they let it go for a century or two. Just before I got here, I remember seeing the hat man. And I tried to escape, but he got into my head. It's those eyes. Huh. <sighs> Jacob's Ladder, Silent Hill kind of shit. Or Deadly Premonition. A lot of things. And that's it. Well, slightly more interesting now. Still not sure. I mean, I know some people might like these kinds of games. I just don't find them appealing myself. I just end up finding myself wandering around and not accomplishing much of anything. Which isn't all that fun to look at. Oh god, more loud fucking sounds. matches. <sighs> what am I even supposed to be doing here? Whoa. Mm. All right, that was my fault. I'm guessing that this is a goddamn checkpoint based game, so I can't load anything. I couldn't even freaking save. And I have to restart all the way at the beginning. Yeah. If it's on sale, fucking annoying sound. If it's on sale, I got this for about 49 cents. It was this or Turbo Pug. I think that Turbo Pug may have been a better choice. <clears throat> Anyhow, maybe I'll play this again, but uh, more than likely not. Anyhow, folks, like, favorite, or subscribe, and all that shit. And have a good night, folks.